While many of us dread spring cleaning, experts say that spring cleaning or decluttering is just maybe what the doctor ordered and can help you reduce your stress and improve your mood. Well, we have the right person to help you get started if that is a project that you're working on or spring cleaning or decluttering or downsizing. Kimberly Alwyn is a local downsize expert. Her company is called a Smooth Move and she specializes in helping seniors downsize. And I think it's interesting too, your master's degree is in counseling. So glad to have you with us, Kimberly. Thank, Thank you, you, Jody. Thanks for inviting me today. So um, first of all, how did you get started in this? Oh, yeah, this <laughs> can be a very long story and I know we have short time, but uh, one of our very first moves was my husband's grandmother. And uh, sadly, the, the day that we arrived, she had passed away. Mm -hmm. And so we just really felt strongly what our clients are dealing with, how difficult it is to deal with a move, a, a difficult move. And um, we just, we really learned, you know, you see so many uh, parts of a person's life through that downsize and, and treasures that I would love to have talked over with her during the downsize while she was here to tell us about them. Wow. You know, and then with the, being a master's in counseling, how does that help you deal with <laughs> seniors and families and others that are downsizing or well, struggling with Moving is very stressful, for sure, and downsizing. And very often you have husbands and wives that aren't agreeing on where things should go or whether they need to go, and you have families. Families are complicated. And maybe there's a daughter who doesn't think that what what mom's saving is important to be saved or a son that says get rid of it it's all junk and and things like that it can be really difficult for the family and so when we step in we're able to soften that and work on positive things about the move and try to try to find the good in you know the gems in the move what would be some of those you know like Overwhelming, where do I start? Yeah. What can I do? I mean, should I downsize? I mean, what are some of those answers that you have for them? Well, I do get people that will tell me quite often, I'm just going to let my family deal with it. When I'm not here anymore, they're gonna to have to deal with it. Well, I think that they're missing the gem in this because when you have the time to, to take the time to work through your memories, you get to relive those memories, which is wonderful. You also get to share those memories. Maybe your family wasn't aware about a little gem you have, something that they would have thought maybe was just trash. Instead, when they hear the story behind it, all of a sudden it becomes treasured and a precious possession that the family is going to want to keep and share with the story with others. So, And it's important to make that decision and, um, you know, maybe I didn't think, well, I just need to clean that room or something like that advice for someone just at that stage yeah I mean, it's it's not easy no one loves to to sort through and get rid of things and I think that it makes it easier if you have a goal maybe the goal is that you are going to move to a place where you're in a in a place where there's other people around and you're not alone in your neighborhood all day long or if your spouse has passed maybe it's working through those items and and clearing out a space so that now you can use that space to take up a hobby so you'll have more room to do that. Uh, I have six great tips I can share I with you. Those, yeah. Okay. Uh, the first thing as I started to mention I think if you start to look at where you might it you may not be moving you just want to downsize but it's helpful to know what your options are. You may be leaving a home of five bedrooms, two stories, stairs, and going into something that uh, is a one, two bedroom apartment. So it's good to start looking at what that looks like, start to think about what your layout might be. Then I would say pick one space to work in. A lot of people will st think they're downsizing when they're working a little in this room and a little in that room, but you never see any progress. Pick, it could be a a cupboard in your kitchen it could be that small but once you've done it you feel so good you want to do more of it. it might be your linen closet or a spare bedroom then I would say gather supplies trash bags are a super helpful supply you're gonna use a lot of them when you're sorting <laughs> have them there so you're not going to look for them labels and cartons or or a marker to write on your cartons because once you fill a box for donation 
I want you to close it up and label it. And we don't need to go back in it then. Good uh, advice, yeah. Also, I think that you need to find your support. So your support person that might come and help you is not the one that says, don't get rid of that, that's so helpful, or get rid of everything. Neither of those are the right friend for this. For a downsize, have that friend who's a cheerleader for you and encourages your decision making. I love to set a timer. And the timer a could timer. be for 30 minutes, or it could, if you know that you only have 30 minutes to get going on this, but it's gonna get you started, do it. And after that 30 minutes, walk away and do something fun, reward yourself. And I have one more tip, one and more. that's get rid of the unwanted stuff right away. Don't let it sit there, for somehow it starts to creep back out of the box and get back into our space. So deal with it, take it away. And if someone needs um, more professional help, you're available? Well, we would love to help, <laughs> for sure. Uh, people think it's gonna take a very long time and you're on a long waiting list. We can usually, a move is about a day and a half process from pack to unpack and that move in wow. between, right. And the downsize, that's another day to two days. It doesn't take very long. And a lot of our people call us miracle workers. So you come in, it's like the magical elves have come and they, they're making it happen very quickly and listening to what you want, what, what you want to keep, taking care of you and your belongings. I love that, miracle workers. You are a miracle worker yeah. for oh, many people. Thank you. Thanks, Kimberly. Yeah, yeah thank really you. Really great information. Well, that is our program for you. Thanks for joining us, everyone. We'll see you next time on Inside Healthcare. See you then, everyone.